Hello, I released yesterday a new version of my book about the Apotin Rio and I decided to jump into the Apache now just to have a look at the module. I spent half an hour on it so far and I find it very very easy to fly and very stable platform. I absolutely love it. So, first thing first, I check the options and I check the trimmer immediately because coming from 11 years in the K50 I know this is a kind of a big thing. I set it to the center position trimmer mode, both of them, because that's how I'm used to play. After setting the options, or the special options, for the trimmer, I had a look at the manual, just to find out how it works. There are actually four buttons assigned to the trimmer, but what I use, what I use in the after hour spent on the module, is the forward option. And in fact, I also assigned it to the thumb button, that's where I used to have my K50 trim. Coming from the K50, the first thing that we need to uh, get used to is the rudder. We are moving from the coaxial, uh, coaxial configuration to a standard one. Uh, what I used to do is trimming a uh, little bit of input forward and to the right. You can see in the top left corner. But this isn't, isn't working with Apache. We need to actually trim with the, to the left. Uh, again, bear in mind that I played this model for like half an hour so far. Alright, so let's put a bit of collective in. And see how smooth it is. It's actually incredible that after half an hour, in my three years that I haven't touched a, touched a rotary wing, I can just control it as, as, I'm, as I'm doing now. It's incredibly smooth and easy to fly. If you come from the K50, you probably have no issues. Uh, the difference though is that if it's like uh, the K50 with the flight director on, that makes sense? You don't feel in, in any moment that you are kind of fighting the autopilots. It's always incredibly smooth. Uh, whereas the autopilots in the K50 has the tendency. Of, uh, of pointing the nose and the attitude of the aircraft where it was when you press the trimmer so you need to, to click uh, or tap the trimmer much, much more often Something that I just noticed Rotor that you, you can't you can't do the same maneuvers you can very easily do with the K50. So for example, turning on the same axis or basically turning onto yourself while moving forward. Uh, I guess it totally makes sense since this is not a coaxial configuration. Okay, let's see what happens moving forward instead. Yes, thanks to the trimmer, as soon as the attitude is set pretty much when you want it, it's very easy to keep it there. You can tap it, you can hold it for a second and correct. Very similar to the K50. So something that probably changes is how the aircraft behaves when you to try to do some hard turns, very tight turns, while using the collective to slow down. So let's see, to the right. Uh, it's not turning. Uh, oh boy. Alright, this is what you, something that you could do very easily with the K50. So tight turn. Kill the collective, and it used to basically to 
he was able to stop in the dime. So the, the Apache doesn't seem to be able to do. But since it's not a coaxial, coaxial configuration, this is going to change when I'm trying to do the same to the left. Let's have a look. Yeah, 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 it does change. It does change a lot. Something that required uh, some manual labor, manual work, so to speak. Uh, the K50 was holding like a pattern. Maybe on uh, in an holding area, you're basically holding the same pattern, waiting for instructions, waiting for anything. And the K50 wasn't really able to do this uh, if you didn't disconnect some of the pilots. Um, now, hands off. As you can see from the top left corner, hands off. I haven't touched anything uh, besides trimming. trimming. Okay, something that the Apache doesn't seem to love is when you pull, you give a lot of input in the collective. It seems way more reactive. K50. I don't know if you just give to the engine power or the configuration. But as soon as you catch up a bit of speed, this thing is a, is a beauty to fly. And again, I haven't checked the manual yet, so I'm pretty sure there are some nav modes or something that you can use to make your life easier. I'm just watching the ball at the moment, keeping it kind of centered. And so I'm basically almost at hands off. It's slightly correcting. And it's so easy to fly, so smooth. A few friends asked me if I wanted to, or if I plan to, write a book as I did for the Radar Intercept Officer, but this time about the Apache. And the answer is no. Um, besides the, time, the fact that I don't have time, uh, I think that Cosmo, whilst they are doing a terrific job uh, with their tutorials already. And again, that's Cosmo, uh, yes. He yeah, has first hand experience with the platform. So I really really don't think we need a better source than him. And so the red kite is working on some videos as well, so yeah. The community is more than core. Uh, thanks to them. Ah I love the timer. Oh look how smooth it is. Oh god, I love it. Yeah, so just in conclusion, I really think that this is one of the easiest, if not the easiest, helicopter to fly this year, at least compared to the HIP. K50, the Gazelle. Well, the Gazelle is a bit different, as we know. Wow, I absolutely love it. Rotor RPM low. Rotor RPM low. Rotor RPM low. Rotor RPM low. I mean, look how smooth it is. Wow.
Yeah, you can't really do that in a K-15. I mean, you can do it, I know. But the chances of having the blades eating each other is pretty high. The Apache instead. Shrug. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick, casual, for fun look at the Apache, the very first hour spent playing the Apache. And I must say I'm really pleased and impressed by this module. ED really did a terrific job so far. At least from the perspective of someone that has never piloted one in their life. If you're looking for more information about the Apache, check Cosmos channel on Discord, check that kite and works as usual as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see each other again, hopefully, in the backseat of the F-14.